It's back to school with Expresso. Today's subject is how to prevent the spread of sickness among young children. Mpo attends a masterclass. Yuck! Germs. You know, they're absolutely everywhere, very difficult to avoid. But today we've got Dr. Lerato Masamula, who's not only a family doctor, but also a mother, a wife and a philanthropist. She will be sharing with us some tips on how we can keep our children and the playground germ-free. As the mom of two children, Dr. Lerato believes it is possible to stay one step ahead of the infections this summer. Dr. Yusan is so adorable, but I'm sure when he plays in a space like this, he picks up quite a lot of germs. How do you make sure he stays clean? When I'm not at home, we're always carrying a, a packet of wet wipes. But if we're at home, then we encourage hand washing while we're playing outside or indoors, depending on the activity we're doing. Doctor, how often should a person wash their hands in a day? Well, the simplest and, and easiest answer really is as often as possible, but there are obvious areas where you should actually then do wash your hands, regardless of you know, whether you just washed them five minutes ago or not. The obvious times must always be hand washing times. How can we keep schools, playgrounds, and even our homes clean? Well, um, playgrounds, it's difficult to be like washing the equipment every single day, especially if it's outdoors. But regular and routine, expected and planned cleaning of the equipment helps. So if the person who's doing the cleaning knows every Monday at 2 o'clock I clean the equipment, then that should be it. When my son walks through the door every single time, he jumps at me and touches my face. I almost cringe, but I can't prevent that from happening. And then he wants to purse my lips and kiss me. But generally, walk through the door, wash your hands. Because usually they come in, they want a bit of a snack, some water, whatever. They must wash their hands and then they go play outside. When they come into the house all the time, they must wash their hands. Now, I'm sure in playgrounds, there is the potential of picking up a lot of illnesses. What are some of them? The obvious ones that I see mostly in my rooms is the upper respiratory tract infections and even going down to the lower respiratory, meaning no sinuses, um, throat, you know, the larynx, going all the way down to the lungs, runny um, noses, they cough a lot, they may have swollen tonsils, then if it goes down into the lungs, then, you know, they can even end up getting pneumonia. So that's one of, one of the commonest, but also the ones that tend to give you vomiting and diarrhea, because that's touched, it's usually, you know, from hand to mouth you know, the E. coli and things like that. The mouth, eyes and nose are direct access into the body for germs, so clean hands are very important. There's so many things that kids can possibly touch in the playground. What are some of the danger spots for germs? Well, I like to call them the germ hot spots. Everywhere where the hands are going to touch, to climb, um, to hold on to when they're swinging. So the monkey bars, the swings, the slide down uh, bar, because those are my favorite as a child and I can see nothing's changed. The kids still love those ones. So I think the principle here is that in the playgrounds, they should also have some water, you know, either a tap or some water basins with soap and paper towels so that when you get off those hot, the germ hotspots that I, I call them, you quickly wipe or quickly wash. So sure, after all of this talk of germs, my hands are feeling quite itchy. I think I better go wash them. Doctor, thank you so much for all of those wonderful tips. Remember, it's not the water that counts, it's the soap. Work up some lather on both sides of your hands, your wrists and between your fingers. Wash for about 10 to 15 seconds, about how long it takes to sing happy birthday. I learned to wash my hands for soap. Kilirua, let me see your hands. Oh wow, they are mighty clean. What did you learn today? I learned, I learned to wash my hands. And how did you wash them? Uh, with soap. Can you show me how you rubbed your hands together? Yeah, like this. Make hand washing interactive and fun. Good hygiene habits last a lifetime. At school, the teachers can just reinforce what the parents are doing at home because, I mean, they have a lot of kids to look after, so they have a daunting task of, you know, teaching as well. So I think we expect of them to reinforce what the kids learn at home, which is obvious bathroom times and obvious eating times are hand washing times. In short, washing your hands is the best way to stop germs from spreading. OK, class, dismissed. New Lifebuoy Clinicare 10. 10 times better germ protection, 10 times more skin care.